Well, <clears throat> here we are today. It's a beautiful day out. Uh, sun just coming up. It's probably 7.30ish. Going down to an old fort here in the river. See what we can find here today. I know it's been hunted pretty heavily, but we're going to give it a shot. Man, the water temperature is actually warmer than the air temperature. It's probably, the water temperature is probably 70 degrees. But I'm going to go down here by another 150 yards and I'll get you out on our next cool find. All right, here's my first recordable find. Nothing spectacular. Probably an old alarm clock of some sort. All brass. Come up screaming. I've had quite a few uh, nice targets in here, but they've all either been pieces of aluminum or other junk like that. But piece of brass there. We're getting there. I can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera or not, but I can see why this would be a, such a good ford. It's mostly bedrock three quarters away across the river. You know, it's running like this in here. So I can see why it'd probably make a pretty good ford in the river. Not finding a whole lot yet. And I forgot my rubberized gloves. It really, stinks when you're down in there trying to dig around and you got all that gritted sand and stuff like that so when you're in the water like this make sure you have gloves don't be like me looks like some kind of fishing lure down there i don't think it's probably if anything it's only going to be rubberized let's go down and i'll get it yeah it's definitely some kind of fishing lure that's been in there for quite a while the, the tails on it feel pretty hard. Always got my eyes open. Another little tip for you. I'm, I'm not usually in the water. The only reason I'm in the water today is because it's so dry on land. But I think it would be better if you tether your detector and your shovel to you somehow. Because in a current like this, you are constantly fighting to keep track of your metal detector and your and your shovel at the same time so just a little tip if you're thinking about getting into water hunting thinking about a way to tether your stuff to yourself that way you can let it go and dig your hole and don't have to worry about it going down the river somewhere here's another quick tip yeah i've just learned i'm not one for wearing my forearm strap i hate it honestly but i found in the water it stabilizes that detector a lot more when you're fighting that current i mean this current's moving along pretty good it might not look like it but it's moving a pretty good clip but as you're trying to fight it you know that with that strap on it really helps with the stabilization of your detector and a lot more easier to swing if not all you're using is your wrist so your wrist play out really fast so just another thing that i found out while i'm out here detected in the water i'm in some civil war activity area there was a squirmish here back and forth but anyways what i'm going to do is i'm going to go up along this bank here see if anything's washed out over the winter time i did find something pretty cool here some old uh print for a look like probably a bow or something like that so that's a pretty good piece of little pottery I forget what they call that blue edge or I don't know somebody knows let me know I know that it's, it's got a particular name to it but pretty decent little find so who knows what we might find maybe worst out of these banks over here or anything like that we're gonna give it a shot it looks like a old mason jar lid let's see here yep exactly what it is found a lot of old bottles back in here before old jars and stuff like that so it's hard to tell what we might find here today we're going to look around here for a couple hours okay i don't know if any of you know what this is i don't imagine a few of you will looks like somebody used it as a probably a boat anchor or something like that that's an old window weight and it's got some weight to it when I first heard it and seen it, I seen it from this end here. And I thought, my goodness, I got myself a gun barrel. But just an old 
window weight. Definitely one thing you gotta watch when walking across these old dried out creek beds, river beds is glass. I mean, even though I got a hard sole shoe on, glass like that easily penetrate right through the shoe. So you gotta really be careful out here when you're exploring these old dry streams. Really anywhere. You gotta be really cautious of your area around you. I mean, looks like an old bottle too. As thick glass as that is. Well, unfortunately, I can see I haven't, I'm not the only one that's been back in here foraging around. Somebody laid all this metal, scrap metal here. I don't know if they're metal detected or not, but it's been a nice crock there that got the side blown out of it. But like I said, this area has been looked over pretty good. So if we can find anything of really interest, it would be awesome. There's something, I guess, fairly decent. They come up screaming. I guess it's some kind of hubcap cover or something. It says Chevrolet. I don't know how old that would be, but it looks like it's made out of almost brass or something. So that's pretty neat, I guess. <laughs> this was coming up a really good signal. I thought sure it was going to be a bullet. Uh, I guess maybe the head's probably made out of lead because it's pretty heavy there. Old spinner bait. Uh, but a lot of the stuff I'm finding, you could tell, was washed up from way up on the bank there so that's a good sign uh, that's what i'm here looking for i'm looking for this old stuff that might have been up in the upper part of the bank but has slowly over time washed its way down i see a lot of people find some bullets and even some cannonballs maybe who knows that's what my hopes are all right can you see it down there see that's the kind of stuff i'm looking for as i'm metal detecting along i got my eyes scanning everywhere that would have been a beautiful little cork bottle if I could have found it without it being broke up. But you never know. There could be one down here laying. And maybe I'll find it. Mm, there's a pretty cool little bottle. Uh, I'm going to see here on the bottom maybe. I don't know if there would be a date. Winchester, Virginia. So that's a pretty cool little find. That's a heavy one too. I know it's got some dirt in it and stuff like that, but I'm thinking trademark registered and US patent office. So pretty cool, cool little uh, Coca-Cola bottle. It's all in one piece, no chips out of it, no cracks. Just said you just never know what you might find. 